production begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, Welcome to Community Foundation Spotlight. I'm Erica Joseph, President at the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and we appreciate you joining us here on PAC-14 to learn about some wonderful programs serving our community. I'm joined today by Shawnee Seitz, who is a registered dietitian and currently working with a, a wonderful organization that has a long history in Maryland, but still relatively new to the Eastern Shore, Movable Feast. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about Movable Feast and the, the, the work that you do here in our community. Sure, so um, Movable Feast was founded in 1989, so we're about 29 years old now. Um, it was started by a man named Robert Mel. He um, actually was diagnosed with HIV. Um, he was working for the Baltimore um, Health Department and he realized there was a lack of resources for people with HIV. So he started Movable Feast. Um, and since then, um, we are a nonprofit organization. We provide free, um, medically tailored meals um, that are home delivered to our clients um, on all nine counties of the Eastern Shore and then also in Baltimore City. How does somebody, you mentioned clients, how mm -hmm. does somebody become a client of Movable Feast? Sure, so um, they have to be referred through a medical provider. Um, so they could talk to their doctor or nurse, um, social worker, dietitian. Um, and ask if they would be appropriate um, to come on our program. And then you can find all of our, our medical providers can find our applications on our website. Excellent, yeah. and what is that? It's uh, www.mfeast.org. Excellent. Now, um, you mentioned that you serve all nine counties on the mm -hmm. Eastern Shore, which is certainly, um, you know, quite an, um, an adventure because there's so much diversity and so much space yeah. there. So talk a little bit about some of the, the specifics of, of how Movable Feast works to meet those client needs throughout that area. Sure. So the Eastern Shore, um, you know, Salisbury is kind of more of a metropolitan area, but there's a lot of rural areas on the Eastern Shore. A lot of people don't have access to getting out to the grocery store, getting the healthy foods they need. Um, so um, our drivers go up to Baltimore um, to our headquarters every two weeks. Um, that's where our meals are made. They pick up the meals and then they bring them down to our distribution center um, at Burris Logistics in Federalsburg, Maryland. Um, then they deliver the meals every Wednesday and Thursday. So each week um, the clients get their meals delivered to them to their doorstep. And so I would imagine that these are, um, how is a meal prepared? You as a registered dietitian, mm -hmm. you know, certainly have value in this um, program by being mm -hmm. able to help, you know, tailor these things to the client's needs. What is that process? How does it go from um, Baltimore to the home of a client that needs it? Right, so they're all, um, we have a huge kitchen in Baltimore. That's where all of our meals are made. Um, we actually have a culinary program there, so they're also teaching people how to cook and prepare foods. Um, so it's um, kind of like a mass assembly. Um, and then once the meals are prepared, um, they're frozen. And then um, our drivers go to Baltimore. They have their vans with that, are, that have the freezers in them and pick them up and um, take them down to Federalsburg. But um, so the meals are different depending on um, the client's medical diagnosis. So someone with heart disease would probably get a different meal than someone with diabetes. And then someone with um, chronic kidney disease would get a different meal as well. So um, they're all tailored to meet the client's needs. Excellent, and so you talked a little bit about you know, your work here in Salisbury and the Eastern Shore. Um, what are some of the future plans that you have in our region? Yeah, so we have a lot of plans for our Eastern, for the Eastern Shore. We've actually been serving the Eastern Shore since 2001, but our presence has not been as big as it, ha it is in Baltimore. Um, we want to find a permanent facility um, with a kitchen um, and offices and everything like we have in Baltimore so we can prepare meals here on the Eastern Shore for our clients as well. Um, we recognize there's a big need for our services and um, we're trying to expand because right now we're, um, we're kind of at at our limit with our Baltimore kitchen. So we want to, you know, um, better need the need, needs of the community by expanding our services in the community. And having that additional infrastructure, fantastic. Yes. Yeah. You're watching Community Foundation Spotlight. We're focusing on Movable Feast and Shawnee Sites, registered dietitian. 
Um, what does the, you, you mentioned these specifically tailored meals. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about um, how you came to the organization and the value that having your expertise in this organization, um, you know, impacts people that are being served. Sure. So I, um, the reason I really wanted to work for this organization is because I've always wanted to focus and help with health equity. So meaning anyone, regardless of their socioeconomic status, race, religion, all have the same access to health care. And to me, that means healthy foods as well. Um, I previously worked for another organization that provided um, free meals and nutrition as well. So that's really important to me. Um, but through helping our clients, I provide medical nutrition therapy as well. So that's um, an evidence-based approach to um, treating chronic conditions through individualized nutrition plans. So everyone's different. There's no one size fits all for nutrition. So kind of um, assessing people's nutrition statuses, their preferences, what they like, what they dislike, where they're willing to, you know, what goals they want to set, what they want to work on, and just making it all about um, about them really, about what they want, um, but also trying to give them nutrition education and counseling to kind of put them in the right track to, you know, getting the best nutrition they can. And you, uh, in case anyone's just joining us, mm -hmm. um, you know, talking about this very individualized uh, service mm -hmm. available for nutrition, um, but it's not a service that you can just call and get get um, added to. It's a connection between your health care provider and Movable Feast. Right. Um, the website again is www.mfeast.org. Um, we also have, you can just search us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, just searching Movable Feast. And so health care providers in the community, mm -hmm. if they have clients, patients that could benefit from this service, then they can make that connection between you and their patient. Yes, absolutely. They would. Um, yeah, all of our applications are online. Um, we serve people um, not only just with HIV. That's what our flagship program was. That's how we started as. But we also have expanded to serve people with diabetes, cardiovascular disease, um, chronic kidney disease, and then also um, we have clients that are on home hospice as well that need our services. Now, do you have opportunities for volunteer engagement as well in the community? We don't have as much um, opportunities right now as we do over in Baltimore. We have tons of volunteer opportunities in Baltimore um, just because we have that kitchen that needs, you know, the, meat, the foods need to be prepped and everything. But um, once we, you know, get our permanent facility in our kitchen here in, maybe not Salisbury, but somewhere on the eastern shore, um, we'll have a lot more volunteer opportunities. Um, however, right now we do have... Um, our big fundraiser for the year um, is called Ride for the Feast. It's in May, and we always need volunteers for that. Um, they, um, it's a fundraising event where um, people ride their bikes from Ocean City all the way to Baltimore. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they come right through Salisbury. Um, so we always need we need about 150 volunteers for this all to happen. Just to cheer them on, provide them, you know, snacks, water. Um, so we definitely need volunteers for that. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to highlight the wonderful program that is Movable Feast and um, to encourage people in our community become, to become more aware of what you're bringing right here to the Lower Eastern Shore. So thank you. Yes, thank you. You've been watching Community Foundation Spotlight. Visit Movable Feast online and on social media to learn more about how they may help someone important in your life. Thank you. Thank you.